Hello everybody! Today we are going to be talking about the two most common types of farming practices, arable and pastoral farming. Both of these farming techniques are unique and have their own benefits and drawbacks. In this video we will compare and contrast the two farming practices and see which is better suited for different types of environments. Section 1. Arable Farming Arable farming is the process of cultivating crops on large areas of land. This type of farming is characterised by the use of machinery, such as tractors and harvesters. Farmers who practice arable farming usually grow crops such as wheat, maize, barley and oats. These crops are grown for food and for animal feed. One of the biggest advantages of arable farming is that it allows farmers to grow a large amount of crops on a single plot of land. This makes it an efficient way to produce food for a growing population. However, this type of farming requires a lot of machinery, which can be expensive to purchase and also expensive to maintain. On the other hand, you have section 2, which is pastoral farming. So pastoral farming is the practice of raising livestock on pasture land. This type of farming is characterised by the use of animals. So you've got your cows, your sheep, your goats, etc, etc. These animals graze on natural vegetation and are raised for their meat, milk, wool and leather. But one of the biggest advantages of pastoral farming is that it's environmentally friendly because the animals are raised on natural vegetation and produce less waste than crops, which means that there are less environmental impact. However, pastoral farming requires a lot of land, which can be expensive to purchase and maintain. So in this section, let's look at comparing both. So when you're comparing arable and pastoral farming, it's important to consider the different benefits and drawbacks of each of the practices. Arable farming is more efficient and can produce a larger yield of crop, but it requires a lot of machinery which can have a negative impact on the environment. On the other hand, pastoral farming is, is more environmentally friendly, but requires a lot more land, which also can be less efficient. In terms of the cost of production, arable farming is generally more expensive due to the cost of machinery and the need for fertilizers and pesticides. Whereas pastoral, on the other hand, requires less machinery and uses more natural methods to fertilise the soil, making it more cost effective. When, you come to when it comes to challenges and sustainability, both arable and pastoral farming face their unique set of challenges when it comes to sustainability. Arable farming requires a lot of inputs such as fertilisers, pesticides and herbicides, which can have a negative impact if not managed properly. Additionally, monoculture practices can lead to soil degradation and reduce biodiversity. On the other hand, pastoral farming requires large areas of land to support grazing animals, which can lead to overgrazing and soil erosion if not maintained. In recent years, there has been a growing trend towards sustainable agricultural practices, such as conservation tillage, crop rotation and organic farming. These practices aim to minimise the negative impacts of farming on the environment, while still maintaining productivity. Many farmers are also adopting agroforestry agro practices, which involve growing crops and trees together to maximise productivity and biodiversity. And then the next section is all about the future of farming. So the future of farming is likely to be shaped by a variety of factors, including advances in technology, changes in preferences and concerns over climate change. Now, climate change is going to be something that we look at very, very deeply next week because we're going into climate change week next week. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of climate change related content coming your way. Um, and precision farming, which involves using data analysis and sensors to optimise crop yields, is expected to become increasingly popular in arable farming. Similarly, there is growing interest in vertical farming, which we're going to go into um, tomorrow. We're going to do a whole video on vertical farming, which involves growing crops in controlled environments such as urban high rises. 
In pastoral farming, there is a trend towards more sustainable and regenerative practices, such as holistic grazing, management and silver pasture. These practices aim to not only reduce the negative impacts on farming on the environment, but also to promote soil health and biodiversity. Ultimately, the future of farming will depend on our ability to balance the need for food production with the need to protect the environment and natural resources. As consumers, we can play a role in shaping the future of farming by supporting sustainable and regenerative, uh, regenerative practices and being mindful of the impact our food choices have. So, in conclusion here, guys and gals, both arable and pastoral farming have their unique advantages. While arable is farming is focused on cultivating crops for human consumption, pastoral revolves around rearing animals for meat, milk and wool. So both types of farming do play a crucial role in sustaining our food chains and our rural economies. So, as consumers, we can make a positive impact by supporting sustainable and ethical farming practices, such as buying locally grown produce, reducing food waste, and choosing organic and free-range products. By working together, farmers and consumers can create a healthier, more e equitable, and more sustainable food system. Thank you guys for watching this video on the differences between arable and pastoral farming. We hope it's provided valuable insights into the world of agriculture and encourage you to learn more about the food you eat and the farmers who produce it. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys and join the herd and unleash your inner explorers for more content coming your way exclusively, ne exclu exclusively? Sorry, exclusively next week. We are going to be looking at climate change and uh, we'll see you guys very soon